Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about Sintret's TPE Flex material. Another SLS powder bed fusion material for use on the Lisa and Nils SLS3 printers. Now TPE is really more meant for functional parts and prototypes, from pumps to bellows, baskets, uh, gaskets, and other items that need to be elastic and still need to survive in challenging environments. So it's very elastic with huge elongation. It's very durable, very dense, and capable of being sealed after the fact. Now, after you seal it, it's watertight and airtight. Let's talk about where you're gonna see this material in industries. Uh, some of the major applications we've seen is actually in medical industry prints, pre-surgery and training parts, or mock-ups and models, etc. We also see a lot of shoes or insoles, thanks to its wear resistance, uh, hoses, tubes, since it's water and airtight, watch bands, watch straps, any geometry, any design, uh, that would be a great, great application for any of these flexibles, for sure. Now, what kind of machine do you need to print this filament? Basically, it can be printed on the entire Sintret lineup from the Lisa, Lisa Pro, Lisa X, and Nils 480, and it does require the advanced studio software to slice parts, unlike Flexigrade and PA12, but it doesn't require the nitrogen, which is a huge plus. Uh, if you're enjoying these breakdowns, by the way, hit that like and subscribe, leave a comment down below, let me know what else you want us to go over. We really appreciate it. Now, let's talk about some of the basic material specs. One of the unique feature of this material is that it can be made air and water tight, and the final products can be skin touch certified, which is actually a pretty big deal in fashion, in medical, and a lot of other industries. That's something you can look out for. Uh, I mean, really in medical, there's so many applications. So TPE has a shore hardness of 90A, which is somewhere between a shoe heel on like a dress shoe and a shopping cart wheel. Uh, it's definitely a lot more rigid than the other flexibles, but it's, you know, it's still very soft. It's still very, I mean, it's soft, it's floppy, it's, it's flexible. It's definitely not like your Onyx or your you know, PA-11. The melting point is somewhere around 190 Celsius, uh, which is the highest of all the flexibles, and it's got a softening point of about 75 Celsius. With a tensile strength of 6 MPA, it's definitely not rigid, but it's got an elongation at break of 196%. That's nice and stretchy. By the way, all these details and more technical details can be found in the technical data sheets available at visionminer.com slash Sintret. So be sure to go over there if you want more of those juicy details. Now, as far as examples go, um, you know, you, we've got this little baffle uh, thing that, you know, once sealed would be totally airtight and watertight um, and it could pump air. This could be a pump. It could be shock absorber, something of that nature. Um, we've got these models uh, out of the, this is actually Flexibrite. Um, of a heart, you know, so the amount of detail you can really get in these flexibles, but still have them, they're like little models. You could use this in, in a classroom or, or in, in school or in teaching, or even at like, um, say, a museum where you're printing out different parts of anything and you want people to, you know, touch, feel them or whatever. It's a soft, durable material that's going to last a long time. Now, one of the cool things about TPE that's a little bit different is we have these examples of coatings applied to the TPE uh, and they make it a little bit more rigid and uh, you can apply colors and different things like that. So we've got a blue, a silver, and a red and uh, of course the regular one is just a gray color like this and you can tell this is a lot more flexible without the coating. This is a BASF coating. Um, obviously it's, it's much more flexible. This is actually very flexible. Let me show you a comparison compared to, all right, we got Flexibrite, and we've got Flexisoft, and we've got TPE, just regular sealed TPE, and Flexigray, because uh, Flexigray you can actually print at different harnesses. Uh, if you wanna learn more about that, check out the other video. Um, so let's see, TPE, lots of bendy, lots of springy. That's definitely springy, and now a lot less springiness in this one. Still very flexible, but a lot less springy. This one really like rebounds. It's got a, it's got a, it's got a frequency to it. It's like a boing. Um, and then we've got Flexa Gray. Also more dampened, I would say. It's more dampened sort of feel than the TPE. And of course Flexa Soft, which is more of a, a flop. <laughs> than anything else. Now if I compare the, let's just check this out. We've got TPE 
and a sealed TPE. So you can notice the difference in color, but this one's gonna be sealed to be water and air tight. So let's see the difference here. Let's just bend a bolt at the same time. Yeah, very similar. I don't, I mean, the sealed one is, is definitely a little bit more rigid. Definitely a little bit more rigid, um, but very cool stuff. Lots of cool stuff you could make with it. And uh, yeah, uh, let's check out some examples in picture form. Hoses and tubing are a great application for this. Uh, obviously we've got this baffle part right here, but even uh, different types of housings or hosings for maybe it's coolant, maybe it's airflow, anything of that nature. You know, something like this, where it's a uh, cable connector, protector shroud of some kind. You know, this will go around so it's nice and flexible, but still strong, still industrial, still can be used in, you know, harsh environments. So that's just a basic quick overview of TPE. Let me know down in the comments below or shoot us an email or give us a call what you want to see printed in this or what you would print as a business for this material. You're in this to make money, we're in this to do business and put food on the table and make cool stuff. Unless you're in your garage and you're like, dude, this is just a toy. I'm gonna print crazy cool stuff all the time. Cause uh, frankly, the cost has come down enough that you could probably afford it. But regardless, I digress. If you're printing for business, reach out, send us a 3D file and we'll send you a part breakdown of cost. How much electricity, powder, depreciation, everything in a nice formatted uh, PDF. So you can see if you print this many, it'll cost this much per part and at scale, how much that cost will go down. So we can actually check if this makes sense for your business case or not. And uh, we're here to help with that. We also sell a lot of high temp 3D printers for Peak and Ultim, as well as 3D scanners and obviously full SLS systems. So thank you guys so much for watching. Reach out if you got questions. Always here to help. Have a positive rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.